Hey guys, welcome back to the Retro Show. I'm Joe if you're new around here. And welcome to World Championship Snooker, the original snooker game on the PlayStation 1, or I guess official snooker game, I should uh, say. Obviously, there's been other snooker games in the past, but um, yeah, this was made by Codemasters back in 2000 uh, and Blade Interactive Studios, who uh, kept on making snooker games up till uh, 2009, I believe, and then uh, somebody else made the 2011 game. And uh, somebody else is, is making the, the 2019 game, Lad42. But anyway, since the Masters is uh, or started today, I should say, uh, I thought we'd re reboot the retro show with an old classic on the PS1. So I am playing this on the PS3, so before anything else, I am going to uh, switch it to analog mode um, so that I don't have to yeah, yeah, use the, the D-pad. Uh, as it were, but um, yeah, the graphics have, have certainly of the menu have held up quite well. We'll see what happens in, in the match itself. Um, I don't really know what to do. I guess match is what we want to do. Uh, location. So there's the Crucible. There's a Newcastle. Um, we'll, we'll go for the Crucible. Why not? Um... What can we do here? Can we can we change this to somebody else? Maybe not. We'll, we'll just stick with player one, shall we? And then, then player two uh, can be a professional we'll, and we'll play... Um, let's play Ronnie O'Sullivan since he is going to be um, probably the favourite for this match. Uh, for, for the Masters, I should say. Uh, CPU ammo. Yeah, I was just seeing if there was any way of, of me um, playing as, as somebody else, but I don't, I don't think there is. It just looks like it cycles through the players. Let me know in the comments if there is a, a way to play as somebody uh, other than player one. Um, number of frames. Uh, now, the big question is do they have the best of 35? Of course they do. Every snooker game under the sun until 2007 had that. Uh, we'll play. We'll play three frames. Best of three. Uh, me against Ronnie. Why not? Uh, hold on. Handicap. No, I don't want any sort of handicap. So, yeah, this should be interesting. I don't know how this is going to go. I, I had a quick ten-minute hit around a couple of days ago on this game, but. Uh, other than that, I'm just relying on luck, really. I know Dennis Taylor's the commentator, but that's about it. Let's get into it. Are we going to introduce the players? Don't think so. So it's us to break in this first frame. And as you can see, there's the, the, the trademark uh, triangles, I guess, of uh, being on the line in the, the old Blade Interactive games. First by... Uh, Codemasters, and then in later years it was Sega. Um, oh dear. It's not the best break off, but uh, eh, it'll do. There's only one free red. He needs to break up the bunch here. Uh, I wonder if there's any way to turn up Dennis Taylor. What a shot from Ronnie that is. Right, let's, uh, let's see if we can turn up Dennis a little bit. Um, that's better, I think. Hopefully that'll work. There we go. One. That sounds a lot louder, which you guys should Wait be able to hear a bit better. In good position. And obviously we've got Dennis as well, who is undoubtedly the best snooker commentator there's ever been. What on earth? Well, I mean... Wow. We're, f we're kind of fortunate that uh, Ronnie Wen uh, potted the red of be that because look at this. So close to the cushion. Look at that for, you. The, for the second shot of a match. He managed to bust all the reds into play. That was absolutely fantastic. Anyway, I'm going to go for this one. So yeah, if you, you are new around here, um, then make sure you go and check out my uh, World Snooker Championship 2005 uh, playthrough. And that we've got going on at the moment. I have just reached the final, um, so it's a good place One. to 
to join us. We're taking on Mark Williams in a best of 35 encounter. Uh, the first episode of that final was today. Um, but uh, I will be covering all of the snooker games uh, after 2005. Um, a, co- a couple of tournaments for them in preparation for snooker 19, uh, which is out obviously later this Three. year. We don't know when that is yet, but... Um, How you could get the black away from the cushion here. Don't, no, I don't think we can, so... A uh, little bit of screw back required here, but um, yeah, I'm, I, th- I think I might even try and get all oh. the other. If if we're on the black here, that's good. Of course, to use the rest there. But um, yeah, I might try and do the uh, the rest of the snooker game. So two thousand and two to four um, on on the retro show as well as. Uh, the, the, the other three games that I'll be uh, showing um, after we've completed Ten. the 2005 playthrough which um, will, will be in the next couple of weeks so keep your eyes peeled for that but uh, if you do the retro show as well uh, every every Sunday at 8 o'clock UK time we're going to be playing a, a retro game from the PS1 or Nothing. PS2 era um, occasionally PC might even delve into PS3 at some point if uh, if we get desperate. But uh, I've I've got a, a big collection of retro games. I am a, a huge fan. Uh, oh, we missed a pink. Eleven. Okay. Gentle nudge on the black to bring it off the cushion would be useful. I tell you what, for the time, uh, the, the animations are pretty the good. Could help things here. Oh, Ronnie. Foul. Two fouls. Where he's uh, he's he's knocked the knocked the ball in when developing reds. So you gotta say a little bit unlucky. What's going on here? Why can't we? What's what what why can't we? It says we can't play this shot. I don't know why. What's wrong with playing that? Um, that's throwing me that. <laughs> uh, this should be okay though. Just drop this red in. That's completely throwing us off. Oh, the white's in. Oof. One. Close. No, just a blue goal. Oh, old control systems are horrific. This is uh. Obviously made in 2000, so still still of an era where um, game companies like to invert Y and X. Um, uh, well, up and down, I guess, is, is what I mean by that. So it's not Y and X at all, but, uh, <laughs> you know, miss the blue anyway. One. Good pot from Ronnie. No, don't knock her. Don't knock a red in this time, Ronnie. That's uh, a nice Six. shot. Well, there'd be a lot of sense here in clearing the pocket for the black. See, Ronnie can play left-handed. Why couldn't we? Seven. Well, this is going to need good queuing. Thirteen. Gentle nudge on the black to bring it off the cushion would be useful. Oh, he's not. Oh, I thought he'd knock the blue in there. Um, I think Dennis Taylor is playable on this game as well, which is uh, fabulous. It really is. You'd probably go for the red near the black. 19. The only problem is Dennis is getting the shots completely wrong 24. <laughs> on this game. All right, so Roddy moves into the lead. The red near the black, it should give him good position. Stop saying the red near the black, Dennis. 25. <laughs> No choice there but to use the red. All oh, the whites in. Oh, he's close. Yeah, that, that should be end of break. He's having a little look. He's playing the red near the black, finally. For Dennis. Oh, what a pot. <laughs> 32. Well, can you believe here. it? Uh, 
have put on the pink as well. Yeah, slightly yeah, unrealistic AI. We couldn't put Definitely. that one. Just as well. So try and hit this as as thin as you like. Uh, it's very difficult to move it in very small increments. We'll we'll go for that. I think that should be fine. Not quite where I wanted it to be, but hey ho. Here comes Ronnie then. I think he has he snooted us or oh, we can just the last see red. it. Well, I tell you what. I tell you what. This is a great chance now. The the lines are a little bit long in this game, admittedly. It's a good shot. One. So, just double check we don't need the black here. So, oh, I, d I don't know quite what happened there. And just run it. Um. Off two cushions for the yellow, hopefully. And should have put a little Seven. bit of side on, never mind. We're still alright. I'm just going to have to dig down a bit. Yeah, that's not unrealistic Nine. or anything. Should be okay, the length of the lines are, are pretty long. It's just a matter of actually lining it up. I think that's absolutely fine. So I'll just drop this green in. Come round two cushions to the brown. And that is absolutely well. inch perfect. That's where we wanted to be. Just so we can drop in behind this blue here. Maybe even flick it on the way through. Yeah, that's good. 16. Good job we did hit the blue, otherwise we wouldn't have been on it. Right. A little bit more pace. Just want to bring this back a couple of inches, that's it. That's fine. 21. There we go. And then a little bit of follow through. Twenty-seven. So should be. Oh, we've already won the frame. So, of course, I'll take this on. So, looks like uh, Ronnie will be regretting. Oh, I thought we'd missed that. But anyway, we've won the first frame. And it's one nil against Ronnie O'Sullivan. So here comes Ronnie. Steps up to the table to break. That's not bad. Moving the brown off the cushion would help here. I'll tell you what. We're going to go for this. Try and bring these reds into play. A bit like Ronnie did in the first frame. And we have brought the reds into play. One. And unlucky there. That the pink has, has come and blocked that. But we are on the black. Oh, no, we're not. Never mind. Um... Oof. Yellow's the shot, really. If the brown was on its spot, you would play the brown round the table, but yeah, unfortunately, it's not. So, yellow it is. Three. Um, same as a snooker referee voice, and uh, that did the well, first three PS2 ones. Uh, World Super 2002, 3 and 4, and made a, a spectacular return in Snooker Nation Championship, if you ever played that game. The most Four. dreary referee voice in the world for Snooker 19. It's going to be uh, Brendan job. Moore, which I think is a is a nice uh, nice appointment. I would have liked there to be multiple referees, but, I, you know, it's their first first instalment so that's absolutely fine and, and Brendan Moore 
is a good choice. Oh, I think we're okay. And right. Queuing will be very difficult with the cue ball being so close to the cushion. We're going to have to go for this into the top corner, I think. Although that, that, yeah, I, I think the, the pink's in the way of that. So I'll we'll just have to try and drop this red in up into the top pocket, the green pocket. It's going to be tough though. But it's right in the heart of the pocket. That yeah. is what we're talking about now. Let's get the brown if back on the If you off the cushion, that would help things. Thank you, Dennis. Right, let's play this with a bit of top. And right hand side to try and swing this round the table. That's a good shot. 15. Right. And we could nudge the black into play here if, if we're lucky. The, the only problem is is that white might get stuck in the pack. So just got to play this with a bit of pace. Yep, that's fine. 16. All we wanted there was to make the sure ball's we... tight on the cushion. That's going to make queuing difficult. Make sure we didn't uh, leave ourselves stupid and we haven't done which is good. We'll just drop this brown into the middle and it should be a good frame and match winning opportunity. 20. Right. So yeah, if you'd uh, like to see the other snooker games on uh, the Retro Show, then make sure you let me know down in the comment section below and... Uh, and tell me what your favourite snooker game was. I also have uh, Jimmy White's uh, cue ball um, on PS2 as well. So twenty-one. Um, you know, if you want to see that one. But uh, as far as I know, I don't think there's any other. Well, I don't. I don't think there is matches against uh, players on that one. From from what I've played of it, but. Uh, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. I don't, there's certainly no sort of career mode or, or anything on it. Um, but uh, we're not doing too badly at all here. 28. We're trickling towards the, the winning line here. 28 points in front. We're just working hard and you feel once we get that black onto its spot, um, we'll be away. Oh, nice 33. There. I think the, uh, the, the, the sounds are quite nice. Um, you know, it, it, it sounds like uh, the balls when they smack against the, the back of the pocket. 34. Um, particularly when you, you cue it well, you, you get that noise. Um, it's not quite that noise, but I know what they're trying to, to get at. But... Um, None of the, the more recent student games have that. Oh, where's the red? Oh. 39. Nearly did a Ronnie there. <laughs> but uh, unfortunately, we haven't seen too much of Ronnie in this match. I think we've uh, just kind of took control of it um, through his sort of fouls, which uh, 40. is a shame. But uh, yeah, we're already 40 ahead. Now... If we can knock this black in, you would suggest uh, we should we should win the frame and match at this visit. But that's if the black reaches. It has. Oh, oh. how's that bounce now? That's ridiculous. Oh, that was a a risky one from the rocket there. That might not reach. One. <laughs> but we are snooted. So it's not quite over yet. I mean, of course, we can play the black here. But uh, you know, this, this is no gimme. We'll try it, though. 
Owl, seven away. Wow, they've got the misrule in it. One. I'm sad we didn't get a second go at that. <laughs> Eight. Oh, it could be end of break. <coughs> oh, I didn't realise no. that went. Big blue to take on. That's presumably what he'll go for. It looks like he might be going for the black. I don't really know what he's going to do. I'm not, I'm not sure the computer knows what they're going to do. He's going for the pink. <laughs> oh dear. What a ridiculously good pot. An unrealistic 16. pot. 22. Impossible. 23. There's no way you would ever go for that. 30. I bet you can just see enough of this red as well. Yeah, he's 31. himself though. So he's three points behind. Oh, 37. God. Can he see enough of this red? Yeah. 38. It's going to be end of frame now. 43. Unfortunately. 45. Oh. 48. 14 ahead. Uh, 22 on the table, so brown and blue. And we've got a deciding frame. 52. What a brilliant break, though. If, if he actually pulled this off, this would go down as greater than that Alex Higgins won in the 82 semi-final. What a brilliant, brilliant um, break it's 63. been. And a 70 clearance. Well, I feel a little bit hard done by, I'm not going to lie, but uh, should we just bust these up and see what happens? A red might go in, you never know. Where's the blue going? Oof. Well, there's a, a few loose reds. The red by the bottom pocket should go. One. He might he might bust into the reds here. He didn't. Eight. For anyone that's wondering, I am speeding up the shots with uh, the circle button. I am trying to stop before the he takes it. The obvious shot will be to go for position on the black. Nice. Nine. The position on the black looks good from here. Sixteen. Could we witness a one four seven from the rocket himself? Seventeen. The best shot here looks like the brown. Twenty-one. Yes. Well, I think he'll use this shot. No one four seven. The cluster. <laughs> Twenty-two. Is he on the black? Can't see the pink going in from this angle. No, apparently he is. Oh, he's gone for it into the middle. Oh. Twenty-nine. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> Thirty. Oh. Yellow, I guess. It's gonna have to be his choice, or brown. No, he misses it. Wow. The pink could do with a gentle nudge just to improve things here. That's the first one he's missed in about... Um, ah, you can cancel shots. That's uh, good to know. Uh, good pot. One. To open us up. And we're immediately going to get that blue back on its spot. 
because if we're to get back into this frame and win it, we're going to need the blue. Six. Especially because of where the pink and black are. Although, with this shot, I'm not going to change that. Yeah, that has worked out Seven. absolutely perfectly. I didn't think that pink and black would come into play there, but I certainly hoped for the black to. And, uh, well, this is a good chance now. 14. Just got to keep getting on. At least one red to continue the break. Fifteen. Yep, we just need to drop this black in. That's fine. Twenty-two. Does that pass the green? It doesn't really matter. We don't need it to pass the green. Do you know what I mean? We might play this red. It's a bit of an awkward one and. Would be nice to get out of the way. 23. So yeah, this will take us to level pegging if we can pull this shot off, which we should be able to. No reason why not. 30. Right then. Just a couple of inches uh, on the screw back. Or oh, should I say a couple of feet more like. Mm, we're in with a good chance of winning the match. And this time we know we need to take it. Because Ronnie absolutely obliterated us in the last frame. That's a nice little cannon. Thirty-nine. I actually quite like the physics on this game. I know it's, you know, not entirely realistic, but I like the pace of the table. I think the pace of the table is pretty good. Um, 46. And pretty representative of, of what they face in real life. So, you know. That's uh, certainly 47. positive. Screw this one back. 22, the lead. 52. And, uh, I think there's only 51 remaining, so we are going to need that red. On 53. Actually, no, we're not. If we pop the pink here, then that makes us 29 in front, so red and a colour after this. And uh, we've won the match. 59. So this to go 30 in front. 60. This black to go 37 points in front with only 35 remaining. Sixty-seven. Done it. And there's a century possible, so I am gonna go for the double here. No. Not 67. quite. I'll tell you what, the white nearly went in there. Dear me. So, Ronnie, are you gonna lay the snooker? <laughs> certainly tried. Let's see how our safety game fares on this game. Not bad. That's pretty good. We've got the snooker on Ronnie. Well then. What's he going to do with it? Oh, he's missed it. 
Foul. Four away. And they've got the rule in there. And once it's snooker's required, it's no longer a miss. I mean, if only snooker games these days could get that right. That wasn't far away. And now Ronnie needs two snookers. Big target behind green and brown here. A little bit of bottom and right hand side, but... Oh, what a shame. One. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Ronnie concedes. We have won the game. 2-1. At the Crucible. Wow, highlights. I mean, that was a ridiculous pot from Ronnie in that first frame. And this was in the, the last frame where Ronnie cleaned up. But there you go. Our highest break, 67. Ronnie's 70 and we run out a 2-1 winner. Let's see. If there's anything coming after this, but uh, other than that, guys, if you've if you've enjoyed it, make sure you leave a, a big thumbs up down below and uh, let me know what you'd like to see uh, in the future. Congratulations, you have a new Hall of Fame data. Fantastic! That is what we love to see, isn't it? But yeah, that's where we're going to leave it. If you have enjoyed that, make sure you leave a like down below. Really does help me out, it means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel for weekly retro content, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.